If you are struggling with gut health, digestive health, reflux, IBS, any of the above, then today's video is for you. We're going to be talking about my favorite top essential oils that can help you deal with these symptoms, feel better fast, and stay out of the bathroom. But first, you need to know that there is no quick fix here with gut health. We still have to talk about food and testing and supplements and probiotics and make sure that your blood sugar is managed and your immune system is functioning. So there's so much to this conversation that essential oils are just one part of this topic. So stay tuned for next week when we're going to go through my top supplements that'll help you improve your gut health as well. What I love about essential oils is that they are adaptogenic, which means no matter how you're feeling, they're going to help bring your body into balance. So it's not going to force your body to go or stop or something like drugs will do. It'll help bring your body back into that natural balance. So you don't have to worry about what to take when you'll know that they're going to work no matter what. The most common issue that I see in my functional medicine practice is IBS. And there's many different forms of IBS or IBD where you just have inflammatory bowel conditions, you might have constipation, you might have diarrhea, you might have both, you might have pain, you might have bloating, you might have reflux. All of the above can fall under the category of IBS, but it's just a common term that we use. So let's start there. My main go-to oils to begin with are ginger, peppermint, and my Digest Zen blend. These are great to use topically. You can use them every day. I would add a little bit of fractionated coconut oil to my hand, put those three oils on, and just rub them on your belly. Now, if you are constipated and you need to go, you can rub in a clockwise motion. If you have diarrhea and you need to stop, you can rub in the opposite direction. And that'll help slow things down, help soothe the muscles, as well as slow down the inflammation those clockwise or counterclockwise motions also help talk to the nervous system, including the vagus nerve. So as those oils come in, they're gonna help calm down that sympathetic, that fight or flight that's causing the cramping and help the parasympathetics turn on, which helps you to rest, digest, and relax. I also like to make little sample vials of these oils and put them in my keychain holder. So that way, when we go out to eat, I have them on hand. You can use them topically. You can also use them under your tongue if you prefer. That's not something I like to do with ginger digest on. It's just not my favorite, but other people like to add them to their water, add them to veggie caps and take them as a supplement. It's up to you and what you feel comfortable with and what's giving you the best results. Now, if you struggle with heartburn, I find it's 50-50. Some of my patients feel better with peppermint and others feel worse with peppermint. Everybody has a little bit of a different trigger with that one. So this is a great one to experiment. I find that peppermint, lemon, and ginger are great for heartburn. I like to use them under my tongue or in water. Some people like to apply them directly to their belly. That feels best for them. So this is a great way for you to experiment and see what's gonna help you feel better fast. Now, again, we're gonna circle back that food is the most important topic when we are talking about heartburn and then digestive enzymes, which we'll talk about in the supplement section. But as a band-aid, as a quick fix, so you can feel better, peppermint, ginger, digest them, lemon, those are my go-tos for that. My last three oils that I'll talk about are tea tree, or commonly known as melaleuca, lemon, and then celery seed. So all of these are great. One, because they help manage the biofilm from the opportunistic bacteria. I don't like to say bad bacteria because we all have these in our body, but they're supposed to be in balanced levels. So we can balance these good and bad bacteria with things like tea tree, lemon, oregano, and thyme. Those would also be great options. You can use those externally over your stomach. Make sure that you're diluting them with coconut oil or you can take them internally in a veggie cap. That's a great idea as well. And celery seed is actually fantastic because it helps support the entire um, system from the whole way down, from the mouth and helping enzymes in the saliva to soothing the stomach and helping have good levels of acid, all the way down to soothing the muscles of the intestines. So next week, we're gonna talk about supplements for gut health, how to manage your food, what else you need to know to help support your body as you're healing. So make sure you like and subscribe so you stay tuned with all of our weekly videos and we'll see you next time.